If you've been following my channel, you might remember that I previously made a video diving deep into the Ocean Cleanup Organization, exploring its mission and the innovative approaches it's using to rid our oceans of plastic. Today, we're going to take a closer look at their latest and most ambitious project yet, System 03. This colossal cleanup system is designed to take on one of the planet's most daunting environmental challenges, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Located between California and Hawaii, this floating mass of plastic pollution spans an area twice the size of Texas. With System 03, the ocean cleanup is making a bold attempt to sweep up the mess that's been accumulating for decades. What is System 03? System 03 is the latest and largest iteration of the ocean cleanup's technology. Spanning an impressive 2.5 kilometers, it's a massive U-shaped barrier that works to capture floating plastic debris. The system is towed through the ocean by two ships, funneling plastic into a collection bag known as the retention zone. Despite its seemingly small size, this bag can hold a tremendous amount of plastic. Imagine something five times the length of a school bus. Once the retention zone is full, it's hauled aboard one of the ships, where the plastic is sorted, processed, and stored until it can be brought back to shore for recycling. The Ocean Cleanup CEO, Boyan Slat, explained that this new system is a significant upgrade from its predecessors. It's three times larger, which means it can sweep an area the size of a football field every five seconds. The increase in size and efficiency is critical if we hope to clean up the massive expanse of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in a reasonable time frame. How does it work? The cleanup system is a marvel of both hardware and software. The physical structure is the barrier and retention zone that physically collects the plastic, while the software consists of advanced computer models that guide the system's path through the ocean. These models are fed by satellite data and years of research, allowing the team to predict where the densest areas of plastic are located. By targeting these hotspots, the system can maximize its efficiency and impact. As Slat pointed out, without these precise models, it would take much longer to make a dent in the garbage patch. Instead of blindly drifting through the ocean, the system is strategically towed to areas with the highest concentration of plastic waste ensuring that every pass counts. Since the deployment of System 02 in 2021, the ocean cleanup has seen a steady increase in the amount of plastic collected. The first mission with System 02 pulled in about 7 tons of plastic. By late 2023, that number had jumped to 45 tons in a single trip. With System 03, the goal is to hit 100 kilograms of plastic collected per hour. Of course, beyond that, we still want to go even higher. You want to get to 200 kilos, 300 kilos, etc. But at least the 100 kilo per hour mark, you know, that really puts us in the realm of, hey, we're, we're ready enough to, uh, to start the, the scale-up. If this target is achieved, and with a fleet of these systems in operation, the team believes they could clean up the entire garbage patch within the next decade. But the upgrades don't just stop at size and efficiency. System 03 also includes enhancements designed to protect marine life. The barrier's depth and height have been adjusted to prevent plastic from slipping over or under it. Additionally, 16 cameras and a marine animal safety hatch have been added. This safety hatch can be remotely triggered to create an escape route for any marine life that might accidentally enter the system. And to further reduce the impact on oceanic creatures, the system moves at a slow pace about half the speed of a leisurely walk, giving fish and other animals plenty of time to swim away. The operation isn't small-scale by any means. More than 40 personnel, including contractors and employees of the ocean cleanup, are involved in each mission. The team operates two large vessels and several smaller support boats during their seven-week-long missions in the calmer spring and summer months when the weather is less volatile. To pinpoint where the most plastic is likely to accumulate, the team relies on a combination of satellite data, marine scientists, and their sophisticated computer models. These models function like a weather forecast for plastic, predicting the best coordinates and paths for the ships to follow. 
This strategic approach is crucial to making the most of each cleanup mission. What happens to the collected plastic? Once the plastic is brought back to shore, it's sorted into categories, such as ropes, nets, and larger solid pieces. Local recycling organizations then process and recycle the material. Some of the plastic is pelletized and reused to create new products. In an exciting development, automaker Kia has partnered with the Ocean Cleanup to incorporate recycled plastic into the production of its future electric vehicles. This partnership highlights the potential for reclaimed ocean plastic to find new life in sustainable products. While the oceans are the primary focus of the Ocean Cleanup, the organization is also tackling pollution at its source, rivers. Every year, rain washes debris from city streets into storm drains, eventually carrying it into rivers and then the ocean. To combat this, the Ocean Cleanup has been deploying river interceptors worldwide. These barriers are designed to capture plastic before it can reach the sea. The goal is to install 1,000 interceptors along the world's most polluted rivers, which are responsible for 80% of the plastic entering the oceans. One of the latest interceptors was recently deployed in Bangkok, Thailand, on the Chao Phraya River. This river is one of the most polluted in the world, and its unique challenges are providing valuable lessons for future deployments in similarly difficult environments. The ocean cleanup's efforts are proving that it's possible to make a real impact on one of the world's most pressing environmental issues. While there is still a long way to go, the progress made so far is promising. The combination of innovative technology, strategic planning, and collaborative partnerships is making a difference, one that could lead to cleaner oceans and healthier marine ecosystems. But the work doesn't stop with the ocean cleanup. Protecting our oceans requires a collective effort, whether through supporting organizations like the Ocean Cleanup, raising awareness, or pushing for stronger environmental policies, we all have a role to play. The oceans are a vital part of our planet, and their health is closely tied to our own. The past 10 years have been way more difficult than I could have ever imagined. On the other hand, I'm also more optimistic than ever that we can actually solve this problem. By working together, we can ensure that future generations inherit a cleaner, more sustainable world.